Black Tower Complex. Way, 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 way up here. So. 256. There you go. My, uh... My beacons turn white at night, and they turn black during the day again. So we're up here at build height. I can't add a block. Uh, I don't have a block to make. Okay, I can make a block. Can't I? No, I can't. Okay, anyway, I cannot place another block. I'm at build height right here. You can see that's the top of these right there. So this building it goes all the way up from build height all the way down to the bedrock, to the lowest possible place. This is the tallest building you could possibly make in Minecraft right now. Uh, so, uh, if you saw the last episode, you saw that this is going to be full of farms all the way to the top. Nothing but farms. This is sort of the industrial complex area. Uh, but we're still working on that, but I have the building structure done. Uh, we're, get, we're not done completely done with it. I'll be adding some details here and there. Um, but this was so much black glass and black concrete. But let's go down to the bottom and we'll take a look at it. All the way down. Boom. 256 blocks. All the way to the bottom. Boom, boom, boom. So, this is the storage system for my complex. There's over 400 items being sorted for now. I added some extra storage right at the top there. So this is over 400 items. Um, we got the floors there. This hasn't changed much, but I did add, once we got the bubble columns, I added elevators now. Elevators go to each of the floors here and here. And then I also connected it up to the bottom of my AFK fish farm. So that I've got books and books and books and books from fishing. Lots and lots of stuff there. So these hallways were added in, in, uh, in the last one. And then I reworked this one. So this is the collector for the farm there. You can see it has the, uh, goes down on the tracks and it picks up all the slime balls from the very first farm I built, which is the slime, slime farm, which is why I built this whole tower here because one, two, three chunks are slime chunks right there. So I built this farm to start and then I decided I want to build a super chunk all the way to the top of build height. But I needed some storage. So those are the three chunks that are slime chunks. And then I built this area to add in the storage. So you can see that everything gets sorted all the way through. And then all the extra stuff comes down here. Oh, and sugar canes overflowing. So my sugar cane farm is working well. That is completely full and now it's starting to overflow there. So I've got everything sorted, coming through. You can see all my stuff getting sorted for. Melons, pumpkins, slime, all that stuff, right? Uh, redstone, so much of all my stuff. Um, then I've got an iron farm. These are all the farms. So the first one was the slime farm. All right, doing pretty good on the slime. And then I had a squid farm, but 1.13.2 broke my squid farm, so we'll see that later. And I got cactus farm, uh, we saw sugarcane already, iron farm, doing pretty well. That's where the poppies are coming from. Alright, so this is all sorted. We got food up here, we got the um, stuff from the the ocean monument, we got ender, the end stuff, end city stuff, we got all the dyes, we got uh, natural stuff, leaves and flowers, and concrete, and all that stuff, right? So all the way up to the top. So we can go, that way goes up to each floor directly, but let's go to the, actually, you know what? Let's go to the farms. Let's check the farms out again real quick. We saw them last time, but let's check them out again. So this is the, we'll let that run. That's the slime farm. And we're going to go up to level four. Do, 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 do. There's the AFK fish farm right there. All right, and there's my trusty fishing rod and all the fish heads that I've got from farming in here. Uh, but we'll go out here. So below me is the uh, slime farm. 
And then we've got the cactus farm right above me. I blocked them off because cactus is full, so it's starting to overflow. So I've got the cactus farms here. This was way too many cactus farms for a single player world. That fills up that fills up five double chests within a few days. It's super fast. Totally unnecessary. But I did it anyway. Uh, let's head up here and we'll take a look at... So there's this is my squid farm. But we're in the desert, which was a good idea for squid farms before until it was broken and now it has to be a river or ocean biome. So now it doesn't work. But it used to collect the ink sacs from there, put them in here, and drop them into the the water into there. But it doesn't work anymore. So I'll leave it there until I need that space for something else. But for now, that's the squid farm. Right here is from the iron farm, which is right above us there. This is the drops from the iron farm. goes into here. And then here's the uh, sugarcane farm. It's not the most efficient. You can see there's still some sugarcane there. Also, it's not lit up well enough. Sometimes we find skeletons inside there. But they're stuck, so it's safe. Uh, but that's already filled up my storage. Five double chests full of that. And then above there, you just saw it. Here it comes. Pumpkin. Boom. And then it goes down there. Drops down there. Over there into the system. And then gets sorted. So we've got a pumpkin farm and a pumpkin at the very top. And then a melon farm right there. Alright, so let's head up to the top there and check out some of the other farms that I've got. Oops. Alright, so we'll just go just like this up to the top. This is the... So I still have a manual uh, netherware farm, but I got rid of the cocoa beans because i got a cocoa bean farm now. So these are the farms from above. You can see squid farm over there. This is pumpkins on the top and melons there, just in case I need to stop one and not the other. So I separated them. Uh, this is my super smelter, which we saw in the last one. This, I believe, was a cub fan design. Um, I altered it slightly because I needed it to turn, but it's basically exactly what he did. So you have stuff in here. I don't have anything now. But you put stuff in there to smelt, turn that on, and that goes around and drops it into all the furnaces. And then on this one, you turn this one on, and there's a cart there that collects everything and puts them into this chest. And this chest just goes directly into my storage system. So that gets immediately sorted out, and you can see behind the scenes here what it looks like. Right? So that's what that is. I had to change this a little bit because, you'll see in a second, this water stream now has the kelp. So that kelp farm right there gets harvested, drops down the water into here, and goes directly into this to the smelter. So when I harvest that farm, it can go directly into the smelter, and then I can cook it up into dried kelp. And so I had to move this around. So this is my coal storage. That goes into the coal, which puts coal into the furnaces to work that, right? So this is all the new stuff. Last time we were here, this was the top of the building but not anymore. So here we are above the farms. There's some pumpkins going down there. So these are automatic. They see the pumpkin and they push the pumpkin and that's that. Uh, the room that we're in here is a um, collecting all of the items. I kind of stopped doing that a while ago. Uh, we got the update 113 and I didn't add too many of the new stuff. I added a few things, uh, but then I kind of lost interest and now 114 is coming. We're gonna get new blocks. So maybe I'll pick this back up again later. But I did get all of the leather colored suits on display and then all the there's leather, uh, iron, diamond, gold, and the mesh one, whatever that's called, I forget. Um, yeah, but I got all the colors there and all the shulker box colors here and inside the shulker boxes are going to be all of the colored items that save some space because the walls are going to be full. All right. And then let's go up a little bit further to the new stuff. So this is all brand new since the last time. Uh, the floor I'm standing on used to be outside on the last world tour. So we've added all this new stuff. So I've got a vine farm here. This was a tree farm, a little tree farm, and then I decided that that needed to be bigger. So I just turned it into a vine farm. So we've got this right here. Just oh, pop that off. 
Oops. Don't do that. Don't swim. You go on this ledge here, and then you just cut it down. Boom. And it goes directly into the storage. All right? Boom, boom, boom. The water takes it right there, and it goes straight into storage, and immediately it gets sorted into my sorting system in my uh, the big sorting system downstairs. And that's it. So there's a vine farm, and then we've got two kelp farms, and the reason for that is, I, like I said already, this kelp farm gets harvested, goes into the water and into the smelter so that we can cook it into dried kelp. And then the other kelp farm over there goes directly into the storage system as kelp. So that way I'm getting kelp from that one and dried kelp from this one through the smelter. So we can take a look at how that looks. This was my design actually. Uh, not didn't take a lot of work. I did have to figure out that the uh, water kept getting ruined at the top, so I had to put a blocker in because the kelp makes um, the water, you know, a source block. And I need that top one to be a moving water stream. So when the kelp was up there, it turned that into source blocks instead of moving water. So that kind of ruined it. So I had to redesign this with this tower so that they would shut that down so the kelp couldn't go up and ruin the moving water at the top. But, yeah, this is my design. There are more efficient designs. See, it just goes right into the storage system, and then we can smelt it up later. Uh, there's more efficient ones that are automatic, but I designed this myself, so I kind of like it. And I wanted the front of the building, you'll see out here, I wanted the front of the building to have kelp on it, so I thought that looked really cool. So you can have this kelp sort of front entrance to the uh, complex. So I thought that looked pretty cool. I'm having trouble with doors today. All right. And then this one goes through the water stream right here and then goes directly into the storage system. Same as the other one, same farm, same design. But this one goes in as kelp straight into the storage system. So I'll leave that alone. And now I've got some of my, I've got a mini farm. You can farm all four of these things right here with bone meal. You put bone meal in there. We turn that on, and that grows them up real fast, and I can harvest. Uh, that's mostly so that I can make some food for these guys. So I have a sheep farm, right? Breed them here, they die here. I've got a cow farm, and a pig farm. The only thing I had to do is, these are uh, Mumbo Jumbo designs, by the way. Uh, he designed that one, I think. But you can use a sheep and a uh, cow, same exact thing, no problem. The pig, however, is a little bit shorter, so I had to put the trap door in there, because I wanted them all to be the same design, because I think it looks better, but the pig one didn't work, so because they can just walk across, and I didn't want that, so I had to put that in there to stop them from walking across. So just a little change. And then I have the colored sheep farm right here. So uh, we're about to get the shears updated so that they can be used with uh, um, dispensers. So I might have to redesign this so it's more automatic. Basically, I just get the clippers and I walk around, shear them all, and then I just push the button here, and it pushes them all forward, and all the all this, the wool comes down the water streams and into here. Now, again, eventually I'm going to connect this directly to the um, sorting system. But right now, I just have to take this out and put it in the sorting system. So let's see how these things work. All right, I think that's done now. So let that go. So we just hit that. Lava comes out, kills them. Hit that. Lava comes out, kills them. Hit that. Lava comes out, kills them, and drops them straight into the thing right there. Boom. Boom. And boom. There's those farms. And then this one, you just get colored colored stuff from, colored uh, wool. All right, so let's, real quick, we added some extra storage in here. So I needed the food to be here because two reasons. One is I need uh, carrots and wheat to feed the animals over there, but also because the farms are going to be up here. I didn't want the stuff to drop all the way down to the bottom. So it's easier for the farms that I'm going to add the farms up there, that they can come just right down here. And then the saplings, same thing. The tree farm is right above us. So I didn't want the saplings going, they used to go all the way down to the bottom almost. So this is easier access for the saplings. So I move the saplings up here, I put the flowers down there. And then I've got overflow, so I've got um, some of the stuff that I have a lot of. 
I have one slot for stone and cobblestone down there, but I have two of each up here, and then I've got the wood logs, which are coming from the wood the farm right above us. And then I've got the second floor with a little bit of extra stuff here. I've got the strip logs, books, cobwebs, uh, those dried branch things, and then ferns, and then the do the two tall flowers up here because I'm going to make a two tall flower farm. I haven't done that yet, but I'll put those and then some fences. And then we go up. This is the massive tree farm up here. So right above me now, I have a mob farm. Um, so they come, they die here, and then they just go straight into the system. Um, it's not super efficient because there's still so many areas around here that are spawnable, but it, you know, they trickle in. I get some stuff from here, here and there. This is the iron farm. You can see the villagers in there. Uh, oh, I forgot to say that there is the, uh, over there is the, uh, what are those called? The end, the end, uh, chorus fruit. Chorus fruit plants, that's right. So those are over there. That was, that was there last time. So we've got all the oak wood over here. Um, then we've got giant spruce in the middle, dark oak, jungle. These, I needed to make this too tall. You can see that the floor is there, but it ends. These are all the tall trees, so I had to make this sort of a double floor so that I can get the tall trees in here. And then over there we've got the uh, birch. And then, if we go up again, you can see we've got acacia up at the top there. So I've got all my wood. I needed a lot of wood, so I made a really big uh, wood farm. It's not automatic or anything fancy, um, but, you know, I can walk around cutting down the trees. No problem. Then we got the acacia, and then you can see the tops of the trees up there. Uh, and then the cocoa farm up there at the top. This is the newest farm that I've added. Ah, oh. this keeps happening. The Endermen teleport into my base and then steal the steal the freaking uh, they steal the dirt blocks right from under the trees. Endermen, man. I think I gotta. I have to put it. I maybe it didn't have a torch on it. I don't think they can take them with a torch on it. So I must not have had a torch. Anyway, those Endermen, man, always stealing my dirt. All right, so up, up the top. This is the top floor so far that we've been able to uh, build on. You can see I've still got a lot more room to go and build. Um, so there's the uh, mob farm. It's automatic. It's running on a hopper clock right there. And it uh, shoots water out and pushes them into that center area. There it goes. And it pushes them into the center area. I don't know if there's anything in there. You can see them fall down. It's not super efficient. There. We just saw something fall down. There they go. So uh, they fall down and die, and I get their drops. And then we've got a giant cocoa farm here. I will never, ever need this much cocoa. But, uh, you know, look at the space I've got. So I want giant farms because I can. So I basically only need to harvest this one time. It's not even fully planted yet because I don't have enough cocoa beans to do it. But eventually we'll have that completely um, planted. This was also a Zumavoid uh, farm. Uh, but I haven't finished. I haven't finished. It doesn't have the water in there yet. Basically you hit the button and then it puts water down. Yeah, one by one. It'll pour the water over the cocoa beans. They'll go into the water stream down here and then they'll fall all the way down to the hopper right down there. Uh, unless there's a tree in the way. I do have to keep trimming those trees. I didn't want to have to have a tube that goes all the way down, so I aligned it so that they go straight down, but sometimes these tree branches are in the way and they fall down onto the tree branches. Uh, all right, so I think that is about it for here. One last thing is I have a cobble and stone generator right here. So this is just so I can get, so with a silk touch I get stone and that goes directly into the sorting system. If I had a uh, regular pickaxe then it would be cobble so I can get as many stones as I need if ever I need it. I don't ever seem to need it. I have tons of it from, from uh, mining already but uh, just in case I want every farm I could possibly make so that's one of them, so I thought I would add that in. All right, so I think that's everything. So we can drop all the way back down here to the bottom again. Boom, boom, boom. 
And that's it. So that is from the bedrock all the way up to build height. This is my black tower complex. It's basically a giant factory with huge amounts of storage with all these farms that I can come in. This is sort of my base. I actually do not have a bedroom in here, but this is sort of the base where I start every game. Because I can just stand here. Usually I stand up there, so it's better for the farms above. But I can just stand here and I can get all of these drops coming in to me without working too hard. Alright, so that's it. That is the it for the... Uh... Oh, hey. Coming in from the nether. So that's it for me. Let's head on through the nether and we'll end this video because I think that's all we've got to see. I don't think we saw the nether before. So here we go. So I will end it here. I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed the uh, tour. Um, next time I'll see you at the when 1.15 comes out. Right before 1.15 comes out, I'll do another tour and see what I changed. Uh, until then, I will see you. Oh, whoa! I'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye.